Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's see what your channeled message reading is. As always, please use discernment to take what resonates and leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. All right. Channel message reading. Seven of Swords. All right. To start a reading with the Seven of Swords. I know this is going to be an interesting one. Nine of Cups. Oops. Channel message reading. Ace of Cups. Okay. Kind of have a feeling what's going on here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. Let me see. Four of Pentacles. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Where do I even start with this one? Okay. What I'm really getting here... Um, someone here is feeling tempted to cheat. <laughs> like, what is this? With the Seven of Swords, uh, the Seven of Swords is someone who typically has ulterior motives. It could be someone who's lying, cheating, manipulating, stealing, um, sabotaging, you know, withholding important information. It's, a, it's just a very sneaky energy. It's someone who most likely has ulterior motives, um, someone who has like, um, you know, some hidden intentions here, someone who could be lacking transparency and honesty. I feel like someone here is being tempted to cheat. Um, wow. Someone here, you have the page of pentacles, Oh, snap. And I'm just looking at the Three of Cups on the back of the deck. And the Three of Cups talks about, um, it could talk about friendship groups, social gatherings, mutual, you know, mutual friends, acquaintances here. I, I do feel like whoever this person wants to cheat with is mutually connected to their partner as well. Like them and their partner, they are both connected with the one that they want to cheat with. Um, clarify this page of pentacles here. Oh, boy. King of Wands. Oh boy. Someone is like lusting over someone. Like the way I see the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, um, let me see. Eight of Swords and the okay, so the person who they want to cheat with is a Page of Pentacles type, which is interesting. It could be someone who's young, because Pages and Knights are typically someone who's young, okay, or just someone who's carrying a youthful energy. Um, so either young or just youthful. But Page of Pentacles, it could represent good news when it comes to earthly matters. Um, but I'm not even I, I'm not even taking it that way. I feel like the person who they want to cheat cheat with, the person who they're lusting over is a page of pentacles. So this is someone who's really focused on like, you know, establishing themselves. Um, this could even be someone who's really focusing on their finances and just establishing a valuable life for themselves. Okay, they're focused on their pentacles. This person is going to be in a in a King of Wands energy because King of Wands is someone who's a warrior, someone who's determined, someone who's very ambitious. So whoever it is that they're lusting over is like ambitious and focused on establishing a successful life. I don't I wonder if this person is even interested in this individual who's lusting over them. So you have the eight, you guys heard me sigh. <laughs> You have the Eight of Swords that's here. Yeah, someone is focused on their ambition. Like, a King of Wands is a go-getter. Not to say that he can't be romantically interested. 
Um, King of Wands is typically someone who is very attractive, you know, very sexy. But regardless of genders, just know that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody. So the one who someone is tempted to cheat, cheat with is a page of pentacles king of wands regardless of the gender whether it's a male or female these are their energies here i'm simply seeing someone who's really focusing on their pentacles um i'm seeing someone here who's very determined very ambitious to be successful in life i'm seeing here with the eight of swords and the four of cups eight of swords is like someone who's in a mental prison Okay, maybe someone who's deep in their head, someone who may even feel unfulfilled. I feel like this person is like a overachiever, whoever this individual is that this person is lusting over. They are an overachiever. They're always trying to climb higher and higher up the ladder. And I feel like right now they're feeling dissatisfied with something here. Okay, um, I feel like this person has achieved great success, but they're just wanting more and more and more. Um, The two of swords and the four of pentacles. Yeah, this person, like the one who they're lusting over with the two of swords is someone who may be conflicted, torn, you know, torn between the two. I feel like this person is just focusing on something else. You even have the four, you have the four of pentacles, which is typically someone who's guarded or again, financial security. I feel like this is like whoever this individual is lusting over is really just focusing on themselves and their their success okay now let's look at the cheater here the cheat the cheater don't tell me it's an emperor that's doing this because the emperor is typically a father husband type okay show me the energy of the one who's tempted to cheat who's carrying this seven of swords energy five of wands let me see six of cups Me the energy of the one who's tempted to cheat. Five of Cups. Death in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune. I don't feel like this is going to go well. Okay, of course, there's cheating, cheating involved. It's never going to go well. Because, oh no. Why am I getting like an obsessive sort of energy? I know the Devil card isn't out, but... Is like someone who's going to keep on trying over and over to get this person that they're lusting over, this page of pentacles individual. Like the five of wands is, is conflict, is tension, it's chaos. I feel like there's going to be tension because the way this person over here who they're wanting is already a king. King of wands can be very defensive, you know, like... I feel like if they do try to pursue this page of pentacles, king of wands, male or female, it's just not going to go well, you know, that, and I feel like that's what the five of wands is. This person who wants to cheat may even have to apologize, six of cups, reconciliation. <laughs> Whoever's carrying this page of pentacles, king of wands energy is going to be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Like, what do you think you're doing here? You know, um, this page of pentacles, king of wands in an individual is not about that, you know, cheating and scandals and stuff like that. Uh, the fool card, taking a leap of faith into a new beginning, five of cups, the will of fortune and the death. So I feel like they're going to be able to smooth things out. I just feel like this seven of swords individual is like a serial cheater. They cheat on their partner a lot. And they're wanting to do it with a, a page of pentacles, king of wands, male or female. And I feel like this person is going to set them straight. And I do see some sort of reconciliation here. Five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk and the will of fortune, moving things forward, you know, um, and then the death in the reverse. So I do feel like they're going to apologize and smooth things over. King of Wands here, male or female, is like, no, you got the you got the wrong one. I am not into that kind of stuff, you know? Um, but with the death in the reverse, let me clarify this. Literally, uh, Six of Swords is on the back of the deck, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters, you know? Clarify the death in the reverse. The moon. Yeah, they're going to have to like 
contain themselves and their attraction to this person here, okay? They're gonna have to control their feelings and their urges because I feel like this person's gonna set them straight. Um, and I do feel like they'll be able to move things forward. I do see an apology here. Um, so that's what the death in the reverse is. Um, wow, yeah. Okay, four of, oh, y'all. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. That's the card that I was looking at. Yeah, like someone here, I don't know, like whoever this cheater is over here, the Seven of Swords, <laughs> I don't mean to call them a cheater, but whoever they are, they're tempted to really approach this King of Wands, Page of Pentacles individual. <laughs> you know, um, and you know, King of Wands is known to be very attractive, male or female. So um, anyways, they're sitting here with the Nine of Cups. This this cheater here is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is fulfillment. It's satisfaction. It's success. They're like, I want this person. They're tempted to cheat and they will try to cheat. But this King of Wands, male or female, is not interested Yeah. It may even ruin this person's mood because I'm going back to this Eight of Swords. Four of Cups is like rejection, dissatisfaction. Eight of Swords, they're going to be in their head about this. I think they're going to be shocked at what this person is going to try to do. But Nine of Cups is fulfillment, is success, is satisfaction. I mean, this person is really into whoever this beautiful or handsome, this attractive person is. And... They're thinking about them. Four of Swords is contemplation and look, judgment, a final decision. They're thinking that something can come out of this. But with the Eight of Cups, they're going to have to wait. Hold on. What is this Eight of Cups? Queen of Wands. They're thinking about, they're thinking about walking away from, because this person who wants to cheat is in a relationship. They're thinking, and I feel like the person who they're in a relationship with is a queen of wands. They're like, they're willing to literally walk away from this, this relationship with their person just to get with this very attractive individual. Wow, this person must be really, really good looking or mesmerizing or something because they're, this person is real, this individual here is willing to risk it all. Clarify this Queen of Wands energy. Ace of Swords and the Hangman. Look, Two of Cups, a partnership. I knew it. This is their this is their partner. Sometimes the Queen of Wands can get a little bit of a jealous a jealous side too. Competitive a little bit. Um Ace of Swords. And in the hangman, oh, they're, they're, look, this queen of wands knows, this queen of wands knows that their partner is lusting over or is attracted to this very attractive person here. That's why their partner is in this queen of wands energy. They're ready for war. They're ready to compete. Um, they're ready to stand their ground. Ace of swords, the truth and clarity. And look, the hangman is an awakening. It's like having that light bulb moment. That's why you see the yellow halo. Having that, that awakening, that light bulb moment. They know. Their partner knows that they're lusting over this individual and that they are tempted to cheat. Oh boy. Okay. 
what is this cards are falling two of pentacles the devil one second you guys a card fell let me pick it up and it fell on its back too the ace of pentacles okay it fell just like this so i'm gonna take it um okay the thing is let me see two of pentacles the devil and the ace of pentacles yeah this is just like what is this about the devil two of pentacles ace of pentacles let me see here four of wands knight of cups three of cups strength I feel like this person is being called. I feel like this is the message for them. They need to control themselves, get themselves under control because the two of pentacles is all about management, stability, balance, right? Managing themselves well. It's a big management card. And then the devil, it talks about obsession, strong desires. Because I feel like whoever this person is that's tempted to cheat, I feel like they have a very valuable connection with this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is very beautiful as well. Um, it's almost like the message to them is, hey, get yourself under control, okay? Stabilize yourself, balance yourself, and see that the person who you're currently with is a treasure, is an Ace of Pentacles, a very valuable individual. Yeah, literally. The message here is like four of wands is a commitment in marriage. This is your per this is your person. If you're this this person that's tempted to cheat, don't. Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very attractive, sexy, confident, ambitious, you know. And um you even have a commitment or marriage with this Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, this is just so sweet. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a romantic gesture, very charming as well. The Three of Cups. Like, yeah, you. this is a beautiful connection that you're in with your Queen of Wands. Don't ruin this. Don't ruin something special. Don't do this. Especially with the Eight of Cups, you know, you've, um, you've spent so much time, you've invested so much time, love, and, and effort into this relationship, this connection with your Queen of Wands. You invested eight out of ten cups. So much, you put so much into this and so did they. Don't ruin something good here, okay? Don't ruin something good over lust. Knight of Wands is someone who's very lustful, a player. Very flighty, very unstable, very in and out. It's time to stabilize yourself with the Two of Pentacles, okay? Um, let me see. Let's look at the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a new beginning, a brand new beginning that's going to be very happy and fulfilling. Let me see Five of Swords and then, let me see. Yeah, I'm telling you, if this message was resonating, not resonating with you, if you're the one who's interested and if you're tempted to cheat, don't do it. This King of Wands, male or female, is not going to, it's not going to turn out how you think it is. Because you're looking at this, you're looking at this very attractive person that you want to cheat with, like as your Ace of Cups. Lots of fulfillment here. You think that you're going to be very happy with this individual, okay? Um, but the Five of Swords, it's when the plan backfires. It's defeat. It's having to surrender. You think it's a good idea. Page of Wands is a good idea. Literally, page of wands represents a good idea. You think you're a good idea, it's a good idea, you're passionate about this, but I'm telling you the five of swords, you're not you're you're not gonna be fulfilled because this person who you're who you're tempted to cheat with, they're not just a king of wands, page of pentacles, they're showing up as a queen of swords in the world. They this person does not play. This person who you want to cheat with does not play. Queen of Swords? <laughs> Queen of Swords is, first of all, extremely clever, very witty, very savvy, and extremely discerning. They're going to pick up on what you're trying to do, and they're going to put their sword up. Queen of Swords is someone who, who um, sets boundaries. This is someone who is a professional at setting boundaries. 
This is an excellent communicator. They keep things very short and sweet. Um, Queen of Swords is all about honesty, wisdom, knowledge. And look, the world's completion. It's going to end before it even starts. Queen of Swords, I used to say it all the time on the channel. Queen of Swords has that, like, you either come correct or you don't come at all. Queen of Swords has that sort of mentality, male or female. You either come correct or you don't come at all. of wands it's time to carry out a different plan okay two of wands is all about carrying out a, carrying out a plan trying to get a sense of direction um yeah then you have the page of cups that's here then you have the chariot hmm Page of Cups, pages are all about communication, okay? It could even be news, um, but the Page of Cups is typically an admirer. You want this person so bad. You want this person. It's like you're planning on talking to them and just initiating a conversation with them, but it's really to move things forward with them with the chariot here. But the second you overstep boundaries or you come at this person inappropriately, they will check you. I'm telling you. Yeah. What did I just tell you? Didn't I tell you don't do it? Didn't I just tell you your woman or your man who's this queen of wands came out as an ace of pentacles? This is a treasure. You have a precious gem, a beautiful relationship with the queen of wands. Don't mess this up. You know? Why are you on the back of the deck as the king of cups? Why? King of Cups, you're romantically interested in this person. I'm telling you, stop. The cards are saying, stabilize yourself. Get yourself under control, okay? Um, remember all that you you worked for with this beautiful Queen of Wands, okay? It's not worth it. Um, it's not worth it. Look, did y'all see that Ace of Wands in the reverse? It's not a good move because you are an emperor. You are a father, a husband, a mature man. You have responsibilities. You, you are wise. You are experienced. You know better. You know better. Ace of Wands in the reverse is saying it's not a good move to do that. Whatever you're planning, Ace of you saw it for yourself. It's not a good move. It's in the reverse. It's, it's like the Ace of Wands is saying, is saying, don't go for it. Retract, retract, retract. Change plans, change plans. Reroute, 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 reroute. It's not a good plan. Okay, you have responsibilities. You're wise, you're mature. Handle your business. You have the Justice card that's here. You're, you're in a marriage. Your Empress is right here, literally. Your Empress is right here. You're in a relationship with the Justice card. A legal Commitment, marriage. And there's so much to continue to look forward to in your relationship. Three of Wands is teamwork. The Emperor and the Empress are just powerful people individually. You bring them together, they are, they are a power couple. You know, the mother, the father, husband, wife, beautiful. King of Cups. Behave yourself, King of Cups. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, wait. You want to behave yourself. You know why? I see why with the Five of Wands, conflict. Conflict and chaos, tension, because I actually feel... Like there is another male here that is interested in the person who you're tempted to cheat with. I see two kings here. 
wanting a Queen of Cups. Whoa. You have come out as a King of Cups. There's a King of Pentacles as, that has claimed this Queen of Cups. And the Hierophant is here. It could even represent marriage or a higher level commitment, or this king of pentacles, if it's not marriage, the hierophant is someone who's very powerful, influential, high ranking. There's a king of pentacles here that has that is also seeing this person as their queen of cups. Temperance, yeah, that's, that's probably why there's gonna be so much drama here too. Yeah, temperance. King of pentacles know that this is, this is their person. Yeah, mm-hmm. He knows that the person who you're lusting over is meant to be with him. The tower, the sun are revealed. The tower is a reveal, something coming to light. And the sun is a reveal. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles absolutely adores this Queen of Cups, male or female. Eight of Wands. The swift communication here or something. I feel like there's another male that's interested in this person that you're lusting over. So I would just say focus on your wife or your husband, you know, and handle your business. Be mature. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Look, Ten of Pentacles, you've established so much with your Queen of Wands. You guys are living a very successful and rewarding life. And I feel like the way the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very hardworking, you've built so much with this person for you to be, you know, taking a risk, a risk here like this that may end up, you know, causing some sort of separation between you and your person. Yeah, your 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 person is a queen of pentacles. They came out as a queen of wands, now they're a queen of pentacles. Very loyal and committed. Okay. Very loyal and committed. Yeah, look, two of cups, a partnership. A very passionate one. Three of Pentacles working together, collaborating. You've you've built so much with this person. It's too much investments have been made for you to mess this up. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna end the reading here, you guys. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this this reading, this message, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Um, if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. All of my information will be there and only in the description box. That way you can know that it's me and not an impersonator. Um, I have started to do a live chat or private live chat tarot reading. So it's super convenient. Um, more, more information is going to be in the description box, but pretty much you can literally like chat with me, ask me your questions and get a reading with me through chat. Okay. So thank you guys so very much. Take care and many blessings to you.